Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Uh, today I want to issue an addendum, kind of a correction. One of my commenters pointed something out that I missed, and uh, it's been a while since I've had to use the feature, so it just slipped my mind. And I'm very grateful that he pointed it out for me. So uh, I was recently asked about how do I create more of a localized shape change using XForm, and uh, I pointed out that you could insert knot points by increasing the patch count, but uh, there's one of the tools in there allows you to specify exactly where the knot point goes, and I forgot to point that out. It's my bad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Analysis. I want to make sure my uh, filter is face. I'm going to pick my face. I'm going to say Show Poles. Pick my face. I'm going to say Show Knots. Now that I have those applied, you're not going to see anything here because this is technically a, a planar patch, planar surface. There's no knot points. There are no control points on it to be had. Now the moment that I go into my X form, pick my face, and I'm going to increase this just like that, and I'm going to move this in vector, just say that way, drag this down, drag this down. And now just, just for the sake of visualizations, I'm going to select OK. Now you can see my control points. Now I want to add some knot points to this. I want to add some surface breaks. So if I go back into my X form, and before what it did is I increased my patches. And you'll notice that it just dumps in here a, a patch, just kind of randomly places it where it feels that you want it. Right? In this case, it's going uh, not quite down the center. Um, it's the algorithm is basing it off of the curvature of the face and how it can fit that additional patch in there with the current math without distorting the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to go down to the advanced method and in here it's going to say insert knot. When I go to insert knot, you'll notice I have a U and a V direction. Here's my U direction, here's my V direction. So I'm going to leave it in U and you'll notice that as I drag this down, I get this little line right in here. Okay, if I just simply select OK, right, you're not going to see anything. The reason why you're not going to see anything is, is because when I drag this little line, if I just simply select OK, I didn't technically apply it. What I need to do is I need to come in here and say insert not. And once I insert that knot, now you'll notice that if I drag this, I have that knot point there. I have that actual uh, specified location for inserting that knot. So you can drag this, you can move it into the position, but in order to get that knot to stay, you have to physically click insert knot. Now I'm going to go into the V direction, and here I'm going to go ahead and shift this. And once again, you can see here, not the control point, and I'm going to go back there, I'm going to say insert knot, and I'm going to simply select OK. Now that I've inserted those, physically inserted them, you can see that I have those knots on that surface. So those are additional patches. If I double click on that, you'll notice my patches up here have increased in number. By doing that, I'm specifying exactly where I want that knot point to go. So now when I make my modification, let's go into my vector, specify, pick you, come back up here and drag. You'll notice that I have that hammered down the area behind the knot as I did in my previous video. Now again, if I come in here and I grab this, you're going to see that knot point move or that patch move um, because this goes across this this hull here goes across that broke uh, broken or that knot point not broken I apologize it goes across that knot point it goes across that from basically one boundary patch to another boundary patch so it's going to necessarily have to change that uh, position so you can see here kind of hammers it down see here now if I come in here and I increase my degree you'll notice that knot position does change. Okay, same thing with the V direction. 
it necessarily has to change in order to abide by the rules of the math, right? There's maths, the maths of this surface, of this face, dictate where that knot point now resides. So if I increase the degree in order to maintain that knot point and that shape, that surface to within 0 0.01, that, that knot point does have to move, it does get modified. So even though I've manually applied that knot exactly where I want using my uh, insert knot here, it's still going to change position if I modify the parameterization. So the takeaway is when you get to the point of wanting to make a change and insert that knot point at specific location, you're going to want to make sure that your degree, your patches, everything are uh, exactly where they need to be and then go in there and insert that knot. If you need it in exact precise location, it needs to stay there. Uh, if it's okay if it floats a little bit, then put it in roughly where you need it. Then you can update the degree or, again, the patches and such. And it'll float that knot point for you, but it gets it uh, pretty close to where you need that modification to occur. So just a couple things to, to be wary of. Again, it's super powerful. It's uh, fairly incredible what you can actually do with it, right? Being able to go in there and specify exactly where you want that knot point to be. But, uh, again... It's the law of the maths. The math behind that surface is going to dictate if you change the math, increase it, decrease it, that knot point necessarily has to move. Thanks. If you like this, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them below. I'll gladly get to your comments, questions, and uh, that's it. Thank you.